Hi guys, my name is Nochi and welcome to a new video. Today I spare you with the presence of my face and instead you get a very classic voiceover. Just a little bit to the picture before we get into the actual topic. I have been drawing Ash from Ubisoft's game Rainbow Six Siege. It was the showdown skin for the showdown event that has been going on lately. Uh, if you're interested in Siege, you probably know what it is. Um, I don't want to keep talking too much about it. I just uh, tried to draw her in the background and you can be watching that while you listen to my motivational speak. So as you can read from the title, today's topic is why you are a good artist. And I have been thinking about this for a couple of days, let's say a couple of weeks, because I have just been in the worst art block of my life. That's not true, I've had worse. The worst art block I have had was for around two years, where I literally stopped drawing. But other than that, I have been drawing my whole life and in between, every artist knows that, you get an art block. And an art block is basically where you just are too stupid, not motivated enough to draw something and get something on the paper. And I hate art blocks and every other artist is probably gonna tell you they hate it too. And you probably hate it too. Drawing what I'm drawing in the background right now took me three weeks. I had three weeks of attempts of drawing ash and drawing the artwork you can see right now. Three weeks and I just couldn't. I couldn't. And I was so beyond upset. It started out with just like, oh, it's not working today, so maybe I should do it tomorrow. It's fine. And uh, well, maybe a week in, I just like totally lost it. I was ready to just give up. I'm never gonna draw again. Like, okay, I'm not good enough. <laughs> Let's be real. What am I even doing? I'm not good enough. I don't get enough likes. Nobody likes what I'm doing. Why am I not improving fast? I've been doing this for so many years. Why am I even still trying? It just, it doesn't look good. And that is what happened for like around two weeks. And that's why I still couldn't draw. And then at some point it just like kind of clicked and uh, I started drawing and it worked. Who would have thought that is basically how art blocks work. But enough of art blocks because art blocks suck. Let's talk about you as an artist, because in this those three weeks where I just couldn't draw, I just could really have used a little bit of a motivational speak. And I'm here today to just give you that exactly that. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner artist or if you are like advanced artist, professional artist, it doesn't matter. I'm just here today to just spread some positive vibes and just be like in a good mood and tell you, you are doing amazing. You're literally doing amazing. I wish somebody would have told me two weeks ago. I wish I would have listened to myself. I didn't. So I'm going to just tell this to you and to other people now. You are doing amazing. And here's why you're doing amazing. I always measure an artist um, in two things. And you need to separate this, those two things. It's like how amazing of an artist you are and how successful of an artist you are. The thing is, this kind of goes hand in hand and correlates with each other and people often mix it up. It's like, oh, I'm not a good artist because I don't get enough likes. I'm not a good artist because I don't get paid enough for my work. I'm not a good artist because I don't get paid for my work at all. Nobody wants to buy my stuff. And we often measure how good we are in how successful we are. And if you're a professional artist, I think there's a certain level of you needing to remember that you also need to be successful because otherwise you're not gonna have money. But I think overall as an artist, we often forget that you don't need to be successful to be a good artist. If you look at su success, you look at the likes and you look at the money and you look at everyone who is like commenting and how amazing you are. And that's really cool, but we need to just like put this aside for a second because the success we are having doesn't always say how good we are at something. Like you can literally be an artist who makes the most amazing art. If you give 20 likes, does it mean you're not a good artist anymore? I don't think so. What if, what if Picasso started <laughs> tomorrow on Instagram page and he got like 50 likes and everyone would be like, okay, he's just not successful. It's just you can't 
always do this and I think you shouldn't do this but we do that way too often we do way too often the whole measurement of likes followers money equals how good we are and I'm telling you today that's bullshit I want you to take a step back I want you to look at your art and I want you maybe if you have been drawing for a couple of years maybe just look at some old art and look at how far you have come and Honestly, that's the one thing that always helps me out of this very depressing mindset of I'm not worth anything as an artist. Because I think everyone has that a little bit, at least from time to time. You just need to take a step back and then maybe look at what you already accomplished. And I want to tell you today that you are an amazing artist. And the reason why you are an amazing artist is you're still drawing. That's it. It's... That's literally it. You are still going. I know how frustrating it can be. I know how annoying it is sometimes, but you're still trying, aren't you? You're not stopping. You like it so much that you're still going, aren't you? And that's honestly something I think people really don't get enough credit for. And it doesn't matter if it's art or anything else it could literally be in any other field, but you keep going. And I feel like, especially for art, art is kind of a choice if you want to do art or not. Like, especially when you start out and you're not doing this as a profession, you just do it as a hobby, right? So yeah, you could stop any day. You could have stopped two years ago. You could have stopped when it was hard, but you didn't, did you? You, you continued, you were frustrated and upset and maybe you cried because I have cried in the past and sat in front of my drawing and thought, okay, honestly, this is a, just, this is bullshit. What I'm doing is so horrible. And well, 15 years later, I'm still here and I'm still drawing. And funny enough, I'm getting better. Who would have thought? And I think the same goes for everyone else who keeps going with art. Uh, I think there's a learning curve. And I think if you don't give up, you get better. And I honestly applaud people for doing this. And just keep going <laughs> doing their thing and that's amazing and I think you should give yourself credit for that so if you're having a shitty day or a shitty week or just being an artist overall is hard just just take a step back and then give yourself some credit listen to your family and friends who tell you well you're doing a great job listen to yourself and tell yourself you're doing a great job Obviously, there's always room for improvement. You can always do better and go bigger. And <sighs> there's always other people who do a more amazing job than you do. But, but it's not a competition. And right now, it's just about you. And you're doing great. And you love art. And you're still drawing. And I think this is what makes an amazing artist. It's just not giving up. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner. It doesn't matter if you're a professional. It's the will to create something. Being an amazing artist and just creating something from your imagination or from your dreams or just from retelling, from photographs, that's amazing. And that you are still doing that and that you are still going and trying and want to put your vision out there on a piece of paper you can always improve you can always do better yes but right now it's just about just giving yourself some credit and thinking hey i'm doing good i'm actually doing a good job and i think we all need that from time to time and that's why i made the video and that's what i wanted to say and I know there's no like, oh, tips how to do this and that. And well, we can still make a video about how to get over an art block if you guys are interested and how to draw more with Copic markers and color pencils. But right now, today, I just wanted to tell you that you are an amazing artist and you should keep going and feeling frustrated is normal and give yourself some credit and then get back out there and just draw more. <laughs> That's all. So here's the finished artwork. This was literally my video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's not what I normally do, uh, but I felt the need to say something positive. I needed this for myself. 
and I hope someone else will benefit from it as well. Um, and I see you guys for the next video, whenever that may be, because apparently I'm not keeping up my schedule at the moment. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye bye.